Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to User1 Productions, my name is David. And in today's quick little Unity tutorial video, we're going to be focusing on light switches and activating lights. This is going to be a very simple system and it's going to be a very quick video, so all I can ask guys, if you find it helpful, remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell. If you have any questions about anything, leave it in the comment section down below. And don't forget, everything done in this tutorial series can be found on a Google Drive for free download without any copyright. It is linked in the description down below. With that being said, let me show you the finished product before we go into the tutorial. Here we are in our Unity tutorial series inside the little test scene that we've been creating. And you will notice I've added this little light switch right here. If we look at it, it says use light switch. And if we press E, it turns a light on. It doesn't necessarily need to be green, it can be placed somewhere else in the map, but then you can turn it off, on, off, on, you can do that all day long. So now let's take a look on how I accomplish this. In the description, I will be leaving this little model that I created. If we were to download that and bring it into our scene, we can start scaling it to its correct size, you can rotate it to where we need it. You're going to notice that there are two switches right off the bat. That is because as we turn it on and off, it activates one and deactivates the other. Once you got the scaling all correct, you bring it to a wall or wherever you might need it. And also, it doesn't need to be a light switch. It could be a lever you pull or even a button. So let me mount it on the wall right about there. That looks good. With that light switch object, we are going to be adding a box collider and then bringing it right over this light switch. So let's bring it up and then I'll just scale it up a little bit like that. Perfect. With that, now we can look at the light switch script. Let's open it up and I'm going to show you guys what's going on in here. So right here at the top, we have two game objects, which is on object and off object. That's going to be the two switches that we have. We have another public game object, which is going to be the lights text. That's the text that's going to display when you look at it. We have another public game object, which is the light object, an audio source for when we switch it on or off. And then we have a couple bools. We have a bool saying if it's on, if it's off, and if we are in reach. Right here in our start function, we have an in reach sets the faults because we don't want to be able to open it right off the rip. Right here, we're more or less saying that the lights are off so that way our bools are correct as well as the game objects that we have. And then we want to set the light object to false because we don't want the light to already be on. That's in my case at least. If you want the light to be already turned on, these five statements in the star function, you would just change them to their opposites. So this one would be true, false, true, false, true. Moving on, we have a void on trigger enter and on trigger exit. Earlier in our tutorial series, we created a little reach object. This is more or less saying if that reach object is in reach of the light switch, in reach becomes true or false if we're looking at it or not. And according to that, the light text gets turned on or off. Now we have this quick little update function. I'm just going to go over this top piece because the bottom is its opposite. So if the lights are on and we're in reach and then we press down our interact button, Keep in mind, this is when the lights are on and we're walking over to it to turn it off. While down here, the lights are off and we're going to turn it on. All right. So when the lights are on and we press interact on it, our light object turns off so that way the lights are off. The on switch gets turned to false and our off switch gets turned to true. As well as we have a little sound effect play and then we just change our bools accordingly. Very simple script. Let's go into Unity and set it all up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll out a little bit, go game object, light, point light. I'm just going to put that on the ground over here so I can see where I'm working. I'm going to change it to a pink. So that way it's easier to see. As well as I'm going to change the intensity to three. We can actually click and drag this point light we just created into the switch itself. And then the light switch parent object, we're going to click and drag that script in. So on object is the on right here. Off is right there. We also need to create a new text for when we're looking at it. So if we go into our FPS controller, inside of our HUD, we have texts. All I have done is duplicated pickup text, renamed it to lights, and then inside text I have wrote use light switch. Going back into the light switch object, we can click and drag that lights text in. The light object is going to be the point light we created. Click and drag that in. And now we just need that audio source. So what I'm going to do is actually just duplicate one of these other sound effects we already have inside the FPS controller. Once we've duplicated it, just click and drag light switch into the audio clip right here and then assign it accordingly in that script. Also, I forgot to mention earlier that box collider we created, we need to press is trigger. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So now if we look at our scene, we still have this light active 
and then we still have both of the switches active. But since we created that start function, as soon as the game starts, it's going to set it up accordingly. Let me show you. Here I am in the game. The light is off. Our switch is turned off in the off position. If we look at it and press E, it turns on as well as the light. And we can do that for days. It's a very simple system, but it works. And that's just about it for this quick little tutorial. If you guys have found it informative or entertaining in any sort of way, remember to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, click that notification bell so that way you don't miss a new upload by me, and also comment what you guys want to see next, or if you have any questions about anything. As always, my friends, everything is up for download in the description down below. And until the next video, this is User1 Production signing off for now. Peace.